نعم اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله ثم الصلاه والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم uh, we do praise the almighty allah tبارك وتعالى and we pray that allah tبارك وتعالى sends his sincere peace mercy and blessings upon our beloved messenger and prophet muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم our dear brothers and sisters in islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We welcome you to our show, the message, and it is me your presenter, Al Hafiz Ali Ali Sulaiman Warugembe. You are most welcome. I please encourage you, insha Allah, Tabaraka wa Taala, to find somewhere, sit down, and uh, insha Allah, get a pen and uh, we are to write and you never know you may uh, pick a, a few points one or two or something like that out of uh, what we shall say inshallah tabaraka wa ta'ala today i welcome you all please call everybody inshallah tabaraka wa ta'ala and tell them that our long awaited show has begun bi idnihi tabaraka wa ta'ala and here we are the message here we bring you the message from the quran the book of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and the message from the authentic ahadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I greet you in the name of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, the Lord of all that exists, the most gracious, the most merciful, the master of the day of judgment. It is him alone that we do worship and it is in him that we do put all our trust. We pray that Allah guides all of us the straight path the path of those unto whom he bestowed his favors and not the path of those who and his anger nor that of those who went astray. Allahumma ameen. May complete mercy, salutations and blessings be showered upon the very last, the seal of prophethood, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We pray that Allah blesses this prophet, his companions, his family and all those that shall trek through his path till the day of judgment. Allahumma Amin. Like you can see, as you can see on uh, uh, at the bottom of the screen, at the bottom of your screens, we say a simple advice about charity. Today we are going to talk about charity, bi idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala, and we shall bring you a few hadiths and a few verses from the Quran that talk about charity, bi idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala. We are not here to collect money for anything. No, 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 no. We are not collecting money for anything, but it is uh, something that we must remind ourselves as Muslims. Over the weekend, I was with uh, some of my friends and they were opening up a new business. They're opening up something new and it came to my mind and I reminded them about charity. I, I reminded them that if you really want this business to be successful, it is something we don't always talk about. If you want this business to be successful, you know, at times we have shareholders in a business. I told them that please let Allah also be a shareholder. In other words, at the end of the day, when Alhamdulillah you are reaping, you have, uh, you have your profits. This shareholder takes a portion and this one takes a portion and there should be a portion for the sake of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Maybe it goes to feed the orphans, to actually build a mosque and like that, bi'idnihi tabaraka wa ta'ala. And whatever Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala gives you in this world, bi'idnillah you must take a portion of it for yourself and your people and always spare or uh, save a portion that you have to spend in charity. Help others. Help the needy. Help those are in need. There are some people that Allah, Allah has blessed beyond others. If Allah has been good to you, always try to extend that goodness to other human beings and that is what we call charity so today we want to talk about charity in that regard 
Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Fa al yawm today, sanatakallam an an nafaka. We are going to talk about charity or spending in the way of Allah Taala. Fa hadhi al ahadith. We are going to talk about al ahadith, the prophetic traditions, wal ayat, and verses from the book of Allah Taala. فيها الحث على النفقة that actually talk about النفقة والإحسان and treating people good والجود والكرم and being generous بإذنه تبارك وتعالى وأنه ينبغي للمؤمن and we must understand that it is so much encouraged it is incumbent upon each and every believer إذا كانت عنده سعة if Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has opened doors of goodness for you, doors of wealth for you, alhamdulillah, mashallah, things are moving on well, it is a must. An yunfiqa wa yuhsin. You must also spend in charity and to extend the goodness to also other human beings bi'idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala. Kama fil hadith as-sahih. Like the way the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought it in the, in, the, in the following ahadiths, the following traditions, insha'Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Insha'Allah you can get a pen, write them down insha'Allah, not down something, the first hadith, bi'idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Yaqulu nabiyyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, says, Mamin yawmin. Listen to this hadith. If you are a miser, if you are a mean person, if you do not want to touch your money, you do not want to help others with your money, if you feel that your money is your money, if you feel that ah, kano kange kange, and you are that person, please listen to this hadith. Be idnihi tabarak wa taala. The Prophet says that mamin yawmin yusbihu fihi nas. There is no day which comes in the morning. There is no day where a person makes it in the morning. Like today, it came to morning. Alhamdulillah, you who is watching Salam TV right now, you woke up and you are alive. Alhamdulillah. There is no day that actually comes and it makes it to morning. Illa wa yunzilu fihi malakani. Except that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala sends down Two angels. Two angels they descend each and every day. What is the purpose of these angels? Why do they leave the heaven and come down? Why? They come for this purpose. The Prophet says, Yaqulu Ahaduhuma. One of these two angels says, Allahumma a'ti munfiqan khalafa. Allahumma a'ti munfiqan khalafa. One angel says that, Oh Allah, it makes a dua. This angel come down majorly to supplicate to Allah, to pray to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And you know the dua of angels, Allahu Akbar. Allah will never reject it. When the angels make a dua, Allah answers, answers the dua directly bi idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala. So, they are angels praying. One angel says, Allahumma a'ti munfiqan khalafa. That, O oh Allah, whosoever spends in charity, whosoever gets from what you provided them with, from whatever Allah tabarak wa ta'ala gave them, and they help others. They spend and help humanity. They spend bi'idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala in the way of Allah. Munfiqan, they do spend out of what Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has given them. They extend the goodness to other human beings. The angel says that whosoever does, does so, Allahumma a'ti munfiqan khalafa. Oh Allah, give this person a replacement, a bigger replacement from what they have spent. Yes. Give them a bigger replacement that is multiplied you get your money alhamdulillah you give to your wife you give to your children 
you give to your friends that are in need you spend in the way of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala this angel prays for you each and every day that Allah a person who does this bi idnihi tabaraka wa ta'ala O oh Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala a'tihi khalafa O oh Allah replace replace for him and when Allah does the replacement it comes when it is multiplied yes you give one cent Allah gives you back 10 times Allah can even multiply it, multiply this to 700 times Allah can also multiply it to infinity to uncountable times bi tabarak wa ta'ala so the angel says allahumma a'ti munfiqan khalafa oh allah every person that spends in charity give them a multiplied replacement bi idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala and this happens every day wa yaqulu athani and then the second angel says allahumma a'ti mumsikan talafa oh allah whosoever is mean allah whosoever you have given and then they are mean they don't want to spend on others whatever you give them they say this is mine this is mine they do not actually get out of what allah tabaraka wa ta'ala has given them to help others to give in the way of allah to actually participate in any charity activity allah please destroy what you have given them Allahu Akbar. I ask you, my dear viewer, a question. Every day when you wake up, if these two angels make this dua, they make this supplication each and every day, where do you fall? I ask you a question. Where do you fall? Do you fall on the side of the angel that says, Allahumma a'ti munfiqan khalafa? On the side of the angel that prays, that oh Allah whosoever spends in charity whosoever spends in your way whosoever helps others oh Allah give them a better replacement oh Allah give them a multiplied replacement is that where you fall or you fall on the side of wow this is mine you be mean and then I mean you do not want to help others you don't want to spend on others and then the angel prays and says that oh Allah destroy whatever you have given to this person where do you fall Today, we have a few minutes to five. That means we woke up some time ago, a few hours ago, how much have you spent in charity? How many people have you helped? On which side do you fall? That is why you find some people, alhamdulillah, they do business and they progress they are successful it is simply because what allah tabaraka wa ta'ala gives them they also try to spend it and help others with it and allah whatever they give out brings it back to them when it is even multiplied by 10 times by 700 times according to allah's will and then when you look at this person this person you say wow this person, this person is successful, mashallah. Things are going on well with him. This is the secret. And then another person does business, and alhamdulillah, probably they have money, but they are ever complaining, and you see that things are not working out. Whatever they invest, things don't work out. Do you know why? One of the big, big reasons is that these people are mean. They look at everything they have as if it is going to get done, as if they are going to waste it, as if the other person does not deserve it. You know, some people are like, I put in a lot of effort. It is mine, it is mine. You also go and work for yours. Wow. Yes, some people, yes, some people go and work, but they don't get. But if Allah ever blesses you, be try to fight that you fall on the angel, on the side of the angel that prays for a multiplied replacement so it's upon you my dear viewer where do you fall a simple advice about charity now that is hadith number one it's also uh, reported from the prophet muhammad 
ان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ذا بروفيت محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم سيد قال الله الله تبارك وتعالى سيز ذس از الله تبارك وتعالى ان ذس حديث القدس انفق يا ابن ادم ينفق عليك spend try to help others spend on what Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has given you Allah is going to give you more whenever you get from what Allah has given you some people look they see it in this way that i have 10000 shillings when i deduct 2000 it is reducing that is how some people see it but i must tell you my dear viewer bi idhnihi tabarak wa ta'ala ma naqasa malun min sadaqa money has never reduced with charity it has never yes you have 10000 shillings 2000 you give out probably you buy food for someone alhamdulillah probably you help in building a mosque alhamdulillah probably you help someone that is uh, that is having any form of need masha Allah. Yes, look at this uh, simple mathematics. Someone had 10, they give out 2000. Yes, they are remaining with 8000 shillings. But look, for every 1000 shillings that they gave out, Allah is going to multiply it by 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 10 times and it Allah will give it back to you. So you give out 2000 shillings it is going to come back as 20000 ma naqasa malun min sadaqatin mani can never reduce with charity this means that someone who had 10000 they give out 2000 they remain with 8 but the 2000 is coming back as 20000 so you'll have 28000 in return so if you learn this and you have sheer trust in the almighty allah tabarak wa ta'ala you would want to give out everything that you have in charity you would want to do it for the sake of allah tabarak wa ta'ala ya ibn adam allah says that o oh, son of adam anfiq try to actually spend in the way of allah tabarak wa ta'ala try to help others with what allah has given you allah is also going to spend on you bi'idhnihi tabarak wa ta'ala Whatever Allah tabarak wa ta'ala when Allah gives you something you must be like a jerry can yes when you pour water in a jerry can a time comes and it is full and that is our life as well sometimes you have many and then alhamdulillah you are full i mean you have that which satisfies all your personal needs Now if you want to add more water in this jerry can do you know what you are supposed to do it is to first give out put out some of the water that you have already put in this jerry can that is already there put it out and then there will be space bi idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala for you to put in more some people forget that if you really want to get more spend on what you already have bi idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala and with this insha Allah tabarak wa ta'ala we shall have uh, we shall have uh, the success that we are yearning for bi idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala another hadith after this hadith hadith bi idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala i'm going to bring a few verses and we call it a show insha Allah tabarak wa ta'ala i hope we are learning something the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam this one is reported by abdullah ibn amr ibn ibn al-asi عن عبد الله بن عمرو بن العاص رضي الله عنهما عنهما ما الله بي بليزد ويز بوث اوف ذيم ان رجلا سال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم a cam a man came to the prophet muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and asked him a question this is what the man asked and it said اي الاسلام خير what this man was so critical in the question He said that ayul islam khail what type of islam or rasulullah is better what type of islam is better this is how the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam answered him the prophet said qala number one, tut'imu at-ta'ama yes you must feed people with food You must feed people with food. Yes, I know. 
Allah tabarak wa ta'ala can i ask you a question from the time you were given that job masha Allah one year ago two years ago or something like that have you ever gotten a portion of your salary have you ever gotten a portion of your salary and you went out and looked for someone and you bought food for them have you ever done so this is the best islam that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam talks about he says that to tu'imu ta'ama you feed people with food number two he says وَتَقْرَأُ السَّلَامَ عَلَى مَنْ عَرَفْتَ وَمَنْ لَمْ تَعْرِفْ And you should also, you also, the, the other kind of Islam that is good and better, it is the form of Islam where you say salam to someone you know and someone you don't know. Do you know some people that are, some people are also mean when it comes to salam. Yes. If someone is mean when it comes to salam. Do you expect them when it comes to money to give it out? Some people are mean. They don't want to say salam. Whenever someone finds a fellow Muslim, they, are, they show a gloomy face. They are, they are annoyed as if they, they, they never wanted to meet you. Let us not be mean when it comes to salam. The Prophet says that you must say salam to a person that you know and to that person that you actually don't know. When you find them, بِإِذْنِهِ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى Say salam. Salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brother. When you realize that this is a Muslim, say salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And inshaAllah tabaraka wa ta'ala, with that, بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ You will exhibit the best kind of Islam, inshaAllah tabaraka wa ta'ala. And the only verse that we shall share today, inshaAllah tabaraka wa ta'ala, about charity, الله تبارك وتعالى says in سورة سبع فاس ثلاثة نعين الله تبارك وتعالى says وما أنفقت من شيء فهو يخلفه الله أكبر ولله الحمد that person that loves charity listen to this verse Allah says whatever you get and you spend in charity whatever you get and you help some someone with it you spend in the word of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala fa huwa yukhlifu Allah is going to multiply it by many times and he will bring it back to you and now what happens to someone that does not want to spend someone that is mean we go back to what the angel says Allah will destroy it may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala have mercy upon all of us that is a simple piece of advice about charity whatever Allah tabarak wa ta'ala gives you even if it is so small, try to see that you get a portion of yourself and the rest, inshallah tabarak wa ta'ala, help others with it, inshallah. And you will see how you'll get rich very quickly, bi'idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala. So that is our simple uh, piece of advice. I pray that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala benefits us with what we have shared. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala continue, may Allah continue blessing us with the best in this life, the best in the next life. And may he protect us from the punishments of hellfire. Insha'Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, we are ending it at that. And uh, I hope we shall meet tomorrow. We have another another show tomorrow, exactly the same time from 4 to 5. Insha'Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, see you tomorrow. I wish you all the best. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless you all. But do for us one thing. Do not go away from Salam TV. Bi'idnihi tabarak wa ta'ala. I remain Hafid Ali Ali Sulaiman Walugembe, your presenter uh, of this show, The Message. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.